Good morning. It's Monday and I'm getting my flu shot. I'm like four minutes before my time. So I'm going to go in and then I want to see what is new at CVS. I want to see what they have in there. I'm back oh man i had a lot of errands to do and i also dropped my ballot so i could wear the sticker now and on my way there i actually got some lunch it's the orange beyond chicken and which helped me vegan and i'm super excited to try it and see how it tastes mm. it has a little kick tiny little kick the spice mm, it's so good i don't know if i said that I got this Panda Express. Mm. Mm. So good. So yeah, I got my flu vaccine and it's starting to feel sore when they lift up. But I always get on the left arm because I need my right arm to do stuff. So I picked up some products. So I got large band-aids because I don't have them. And we had an instance that we had a bigger wound this weekend. I, I just put gloss on it, but it's always good to have that size of band-aid. And I picked up this one here, which is NYX. And this is an eyebrow pomade pencil. And this is in color brunette. And this is their vegan formula, so I thought I'd try it. And I also got an elf lip product. This is their hydrating core lip shine, and this is in Lovely. So I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer, and this is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Hydrating Concealer. And this is in 350 Light Medium. And this is one of my favorite concealers. It's so light, but it has good coverage. And it matches my skin, so. I usually put it with my finger. Wow, I haven't done like a makeup video in so long. I mean, this is not a makeup tutorial. Just like applying some coverage for today in case I have an audition or I might go on camera and do a video. Yeah, I just cover some redness. Let me see, it has to end. Oh, the little brush, look at that. It's a tiny little brush. ASMR, oh. cool. The pomade pencil. Yeah, this is a good color. Let me brush my eyebrows up. I'm gonna fill in this part and then try to even it out with this one. I'm gonna keep it that way and I'm gonna use my elf brow lift to just keep them up and fluffed I'm gonna use this pulley like this. Oh, yeah, I bent it, you know to get the product like this and go like that It's much easier All right, that's a win. I like it now I'm just gonna do my lashes and now I'm gonna use the elf big mood mascara and this is waterproof in black now I'm going to try this lip product. It's a little heart. This is a cute color. So I feel like I could wear it anytime. Lovely. All right, so that's all I'm doing today. And hopefully these eyebrows stay put. I like it. I really like it. I love the color. It's much softer than what I was wearing before. So. Hi, so I think it's safe to say that I did not get the commercial because today was supposed to be the fitting and tomorrow was supposed to be the shoot. But I'm not upset. I was just like acting as if it comes to me, then great. If it doesn't, it's great too. So I just feel lucky and, you know, appreciative that I got so close and my skills are getting better. So I definitely need to just keep working towards that and just keep auditioning. Auditioning is practice for me. So I'm very excited because I feel like, you know, I get closer and closer each time. And now I'm outside my gym. I'm going to go in and work out. Then I'm going to do some grocery shopping and then go home. Hello guys. So it's Wednesday and today I'm recording my closet clean out video. 
and I'm gonna declutter all my closet and see what works and see what doesn't and what needs to be donated. I really don't have the patience to actually sell stuff. I used to do that in Poshmark. Yeah, I was not patient enough to. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Hmm. I just didn't want to have it in my closet and wait till it got sold. I just need the space. Yeah, selling it is just not for me. And I'm just gonna donate it. So. I think that's the best thing to do. Somebody else could get use out of it and it's time to let things go. So, and that includes shoes because here in my closet, I have clothes and shoes. So it's both. And up there I have all my winter stuff. So I have to, you know, just take them out and see what I still want. And this is going to be a separate video because I feel like that's going to be a long video. So yeah, I just shower. I'm going to let my hair air dry. Just rock those waves because I've been blow drying it too much. So I definitely don't want to do that. All right, I think I'm gonna take my dresses out of here. Ugh. You're not gonna believe this. This tripod just broke. I swear, I didn't drop it this time. It's just this leg here it came off and I don't know how to put it on. It's, oops. It has this piece right here and I guess this little sleeve, but ah, it's this tiny piece. I don't even know where that goes. This little tiny piece has something to do with this. This is this out later. I just bought it too. Anyways, I was going to take those dresses and put it with my other dresses. I still haven't really sorted out yet, which are this one's right here. But today I don't have much time. I actually have to do a few other things and I have a meeting. So I'm going to do this tomorrow. I also still have to go through my drawers right here and also my dresser right here except the bottom one i already did and there's some jeans there but i don't think i'm gonna keep them the day that i tried them i was not sure really how i like them and this one here has so many t-shirts that it barely fits it barely open and here i have undies and socks and bras so i have to sort out through those two so i don't know where i left off in the video or if this is gonna be a new video <laughs> i'm just gonna keep going i think the last time i was organizing was on wednesday then my tripod broke so i had to order another one so i have a lot to do this week i have a lot of editing and a lot of posting today i have an audition tomorrow i have another audition so you're gonna see me doing a bunch of things walking around i'm here in my bedroom so everything's piled up of what i took out last week you know so i put my husband's desk back because i took it out to actually clean out that side of my closet I'm gonna give you a little tour. You know, it's our TV, our dresser, my computer. My husband's desk with his chair. He works remotely, so he has a screen. He sits there, or sometimes I sit there and work too. So we sit all around the house, but you know, at least he has somewhere to sit when he has meetings and stuff like that. Or I do have somewhere to sit when I have meetings and stuff. Uh, his guitar. Usually my hamper goes there, but I took it out because I have to do laundry. There's a purifier, my TV, my little plant. Put it back. Here I have my mirror mannequin my vanity table that i still need a stool i haven't found one yet this here if you're wondering what it is this is a uv lamp i used to use this a lot when my eczema got out of hand like it flared up all over my body and it was pretty pretty bad so i recently stopped using it because my flare up went away well i switched dermatologist the first one gave me this lamp and it worked but my new dermatologist said it's kind of harsh on the skin because it is a uv light but i could do that with the sun if i have to and here in california it's very sunny so i don't really need this machine anymore so i'm trying to get rid of it oh it's hard it's a it's huge it's like for my whole body and it's really heavy so yeah i'm still trying to figure out how to get rid of it but i have to get it out because i need more space there my light my night table and my husband's night table i'm trying to get a bed frame so that's coming so that's another thing i'm waiting on i don't have anything under the bed i just try to keep it clutter free so whatever doesn't fit anywhere in my vanity dresser in the closet or up there it goes because it's just too much yeah i'm gonna get to work My husband made me a smoothie. I have so much to do. I don't know if I'm going to get to do everything. I kind of wanted to finish the closet, but it seems like I'm not going to be able to have other things. It's almost one o'clock. I have to 
packed my son. I wanted to record a sit down video and I also have to do my audition. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the sit down video today. I'm gonna keep on going because time is going, time is ticking. This is what I have for the nation so far. Yeah, I might actually get rid of this too. A lot of hangers, there's a box here too. And yeah, I just don't think these are the best option because of how thick they are. I mean, if you have the space, oops, then why not? I might keep a few of these for coats because I do need a thicker hanger for those. But I would not use all of these in my closet. And yeah, it's so many things. I have so many boxes here. It's just insane. And bags and stuff like that. And I just got this because I need an extra for my closet clean out video. And I also ordered this. And this is for the water bottles. Yeah, I didn't know it came in pieces. Over two trays. Hold on. Oh, there's another one here. So, yeah, they're like tears. So you put them in between. You know, here, 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 here. Yeah, I thought it was cool. I'm gonna see if it works for me. I might be able to put this on tomorrow, but I just have so much going on with the closet and I wanna finish that project first. So I might hold off on this one. I don't wanna get distracted and then just never finish anything. <laughs> So my baby's off and yeah, it's always a little sad, you know, we need more gummy bears. Yeah, he gets teary eye. I'm, I do too, I mean, I feel sad, but he's gonna have so much fun. If I didn't mention, yeah, he's going to the East Coast for Thanksgiving to be with his father. Plus my family's over there too. Uh, we don't travel back too often. Um, we had really bad experiences going back, especially during the winter time, like Christmas, like Christmas was, a nightmare everybody got sick and it, it was just so cold so i'm definitely gonna miss my little ball of energy like he's so energetic so hopefully you know he doesn't drive people crazy over there <laughs> i've been here for a while so i think i'm gonna pick up some lunch for my husband on my way back i kind of pass a cover so i might get that it's so good and then i'm gonna keep on going with my closet because it's just a lot to do oh i do have another edition and that i have to do between today or tomorrow morning i mean it's a lot of pages but i think it's gonna be fun <music> Good morning, so it's Wednesday and I'm here outside the gym. I'm about to go in and do a workout. It's been a few days I have not gone to the gym. I've been so busy, but I've been very active and tired. Like I've been walking around so much, you know, lifting things and doing things. I've been very active, but not, not to the point that mentally I'm like, okay, I had a really nice workout. So I usually start warming up first and then I go into my weightlifting. But somebody was suggesting to try for a few weeks, lifting first and then do cardio. So I'm gonna try for a few weeks and see how that works for me. I've been actually shopping these past few days. Sunday I went to the mall to get my my little one new clothes because he's outgrowing things really fast. I think he's gonna be really tall because he is tall for his age right now. And I had to buy a few things, which I have to take it out of the bag, take the tags out, I'll show you that later. I went to Old Navy and just got a bunch of things. What else did I buy? I did buy from Cole some things for me and for me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I bought a few PJs there. Oh, and I also bought from Carter's. I'll show you, the PJs came last night. And I love Carter's PJs because they're 100% cotton. That's why my kids wear most because they also have X amount like me. So their dermatologist always told me to just wear 100% cotton PJs because they tend to sweat and stuff like that and cotton is more breathable and they're so cute I'll show them to you later and then I'm still waiting for things for Kohl's and yesterday I did buy a big thing for my bedroom I bought a bed yes I bought a bed frame because right now we're just on a mattress 
against the window and to be honest it's not that good feng shui <laughs> so i've been putting this off too long like i love the fact that in the summertime you're just sleeping the windows are open you know it's like a nice breeze at nighttime but it's you know i feel unprotected so i need like a short headboard I don't know what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is like, I want a headboard in between that I could actually sit on and lean against and I could read. I can't do that on top of the curtains. And for feng shui reasons, my bed is in the wrong place. That's the only place I could put it that everything else makes sense. So in that case, your bed should never be against the window. And if it is, you need a headboard. I'm super excited and it's coming next week. But anyways, I have to get in. I've been yapping away, getting into this bed thing. So I'm home and I showered and I feel amazing. Um, I just love how working out like that makes you feel. Like my muscles feel so good and pumped and I'm so active right now. I'm wide awake and I wanna do so many things. So I have to keep on going with my closet video. <laughs> also, I wanted to show you the stuff that I got for my son. His PJs are so cute. I got him six pairs of PJs. These are so cute. He loves dinosaurs still and gaming. And I just got these because they were so cute in color. I didn't seek champ. So these two came together. These two came together and these two came together. Now I'm gonna wash these, decorate his PJ drawer and put these in there. And there was a sale going on. So I got all of these for, I believe 50 bucks. So not bad. And this is what we got at Old Navy. And I think he picked out really cool stuff. I just go there and I suggest and stuff, but he's the one that makes the ultimate decision. So he got some cargo pants, jeans, sweatpants, sporty stuff, um, another cargo pants, a jogger, and these shirts he's been liking a lot. He also got a different one. It's so cute, the colors. He says that he likes these type of shirts because it reminds him of Stranger Things. They kind of look like they're from the 80s and he just loves stuff from Stranger Things. And he says the Mike from Stranger Things was wearing that. So that's why he got this one and the other one. <laughs> so I guess he likes the 80s style. Okay, so I found the other shirt. And you know what? I think I have something similar to this. Oh my God, that's funny. It's kind of similar style, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> so I'm gonna start setting up because I need to finish my closet. Well, I don't think I'll finish today because I have to add actually another project in it, which is to hang my hat. So I'm gonna do that, but I think tomorrow because I will have more time. Right now I'm just heading over to Beverly Hills where the screening and the Q&A is going to be at and I'm excited. I'm going to get to see Rooney Mara so it's like hopefully I can get to film. I'm not sure so if anything I'll come back and let you know how it went. <laughs> Here we are. And in fact, unfortunately, we found ourselves in a time where this film is ever more urgent than it should be. But when we made the film, I had, uh, I had a 10 month old and I was like, sort of in this beautiful space in my life where I was madly in love with my child. And so like, I really did have that much joy. So it was a, a joy for me to play, to play that part and be able to channel that energy into her. <laughs> Women talking, go see it, go see it. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's Friday and yesterday was such 
a great time. It was an amazing experience and I got to see people that are super talented, a great cast, and the two people that actually I know the most was uh, Frances McDormand and Runa Mara. So she is Joaquin Phoenix's wife and she is amazing. So is Frances McDormand. I'm sure you've seen her in other stuff and it's just so cool to see them and talk about this movie and the message of this movie was amazing. It was about women and how they deal with assault, you know, violence, uh, sexual harassment and things like that within a religious belief but I think it applied in many other aspects of life so I would definitely consider watching this it's going to be available in theaters in December and yeah just watch it it definitely has a great message that I feel people need to be speaking about I haven't been to an event like this for a long, long time. I used to go and check out directors' panels, you know, some actors a long time ago, but now it, it was great to have the opportunity. The reason why I was able to attend this event was because my acting coach had tickets and I was able to go and, you know, I just feel, feel very grateful for the opportunity and also for friendship. It was really cool to see this and attend the Q&A. So I came home around 11 o'clock. Yeah, I was just so inspired and motivated and it was just great. It was just a great night. And this morning I had to get up early and go back to Beverly Hills for a doctor appointment. So I was there last night and this morning. I went to my doctor to actually uh, do a checkup on my incision and everything's going well. So I'm happy about that. So today I'm just relaxing. I do have another um, audition today. It's like a comedy sketch, but it, it's pretty cool. I've done a lot these past few days, so I just want to relax tonight. So I have no plans or anything like that than just being. <laughs> being me and being and existing and that's it <laughs> no plans all right so i got my coals package and we got slippers for my husband we got my pjs my yamitas this is minecraft pjs and his christmas pjs ah i got these leggings in this color so they were interesting and i got these sheets simply vera and i can't wait for my bed frame to come in it's gonna be cool Good morning, it's Saturday and last night I got an email from Wayfair saying that my bed is coming today. It was supposed to come on Tuesday and it says it's coming today between 11 and 3. Right now it's like 8 o'clock. I'm like, I'm not ready for it. You know, I don't think I'm putting the bed together today. I still have a lot of donation bags in my living room and here and things I have to put in place. So I'm not completely ready for it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how big the boxes are going to be, if it's going to clutter my living room. You know, my living room is not big so I have to move quickly on it we'll see right now my husband is getting bagels because I haven't had one in so long you know it's not the best thing to have but I just love that soft feel of bread and I'm gonna eat that last night that I did an addition I actually got a response today saying that I might need to film tomorrow Sunday at three o'clock in North Hollywood so we're gonna see if that goes through so that's gonna be fun because it was like a comedy sketch okay so it's here what did you buy, a bed frame a rocket ship <laughs> a bed frame it's humongous jackhammering outside they're fixing some kind of pipe so it's pretty loud okay so we decided to actually start putting the bed together because it's so huge the box that it came in and it's taking too much room in the living room so we're just gonna start opening it up and start putting here but first we have to empty this room <laughs> so it could fit
Uh, done. Uh, done finally. Uh. I try to decorate this knitted blanket it was so nice and soft but that's all i could do right now i'm so exhausted we just took out the boxes cut the mob and we are exhausted and hungry and i'm just happy with how this bed looks it, it looks amazing i i love it i don't need the spring boxes anymore and it's pretty much the same height it is really 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 cool on another note the addition i worked on last night i actually got the job so tomorrow i'm gonna be shooting which is sunday to just have the afternoon and a few hours to shoot it's a small sketch i think it's gonna be fun it's kind of like a comedy so i really really wanted it and i got it so i'm excited so i'm gonna be doing that tomorrow and i have to prep right now just get my stuff ready my wardrobe and then going to bed okay good night all right and these are the pjs i got from kohl's these are flannel pjs and these are my llama pjs so cute i'm still waiting for one more pj to arrive and these are some leggings these are the junior size so i got them in large but i thought it was such a cute color these are a little too long and too loose in this area here so nope i love these so cute oh my god they're so comfortable i had to um fold these right here because i'm sure so if they go on my waist they'll be too long so i have to fold them here and they're so comfortable i really really love them love it so now i can take the tags off wash them and i can wear them oh okay i'm exhausted it's just been a long day today i couldn't film earlier because i had to get ready for my shoot today i had to be there earlier around 12 p.m and i got home around 5 30 or so then i recorded my sit down video and i just tried these pjs and now i'm pooped i'm about to watch the movie nope we started watching it yesterday and we got halfway i think we fell asleep after but it was pretty good it was like creepy i mean i don't know what happens next but i'm intrigued and i can't wait to finish it so we're gonna watch it tonight i finally finished my closet clean out video and i'm really really happy with the results and i'm so happy that this bed came it feels so great to sleep here i will link this bed in the description box down below and i think it was 1600 dollars, but i got it with a black friday deal to 748 or something like that and it came out plus tax it was like eight something and the delivery was really fast i'm really happy with my purchase and i love this bed so i'm gonna close this video here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye